Impacts from the launch include numerous large concrete chunks, stainless steel sheets, metal, and other objects hurled thousands of feet away along with a plume cloud of pulverized concrete that deposited material up to 6.5 miles northwest of the pad site. The Fish and Wildlife Service wrote, Welcome back to our channel. This is Cosmic Era. Approximately 385 acres of debris was found on both SpaceX's facility and in the surrounding Boca Chica State Park, and a 3.5-acre fire burned on parkland south of the launch site. Liftoff is usually the most environmentally harmful stage of any space mission, with vast quantities of fuel burnt up in a matter of minutes. For instance, SpaceX's Falcon 9 gets through 112 tons of refined kerosene emitting about 336 tons of CO2 the equivalent produced by your average car driving almost 70 times around the world. As well as greenhouse gases, rocket engines emit chlorine and particles of soot and aluminium oxide that destroy ozone. These issues are growing more pressing with the advent of commercial spaceflight. There were 114 space launches in 2020, but there may be up to 1,000 per year in future. Sustainable fuels are the top priority to enable greener space travel. Current spacecraft use a variety of fuels, but most are based on fossil fuels. One potentially greener option is liquid hydrogen and oxygen, used by the new Shepard propulsion module from private spaceflight company Blue Origin. Hydrogen can be obtained sustainably by using solar power to break water down into oxygen and hydrogen molecules. In 2019, NASA's Green Propellant Infusion Mission GPIM, road tested FM315E, a green alternative to hydrazine, a toxic component of many types of rocket fuel, and hopes to use this to power future missions. Reusable rockets can cut down on some of the waste associated with spaceflight. Traditionally, boosters, fuel tanks, and other components are treated as expendable, but guiding them back to Earth in a controlled manner opens new possibilities. Most components from the Falcon 9 can be reused up to 100 times. Space launches can have a hefty carbon footprint due to the burning of solid rocket fuels. Many rockets are, however, propelled by liquid hydrogen fuel, which produces clean water vapor exhaust. Although the production of hydrogen itself can cause significant carbon emissions, rocket engines release trace gases into the upper atmosphere that contribute to ozone depletion, as well as particles of soot. And this is a flight SpaceX considers a success since the rocket did manage to clear the launch tower and fly for four minutes before consuming itself in a ball of fire. Congrats at SpaceX team on an exciting test launch of Starship. SpaceX boss and founder Elon Musk tweeted, Learn a lot for next test launch in a few months. Such optimism notwithstanding that next test flight is very much open to question. Environmental concerns will likely determine when Starship has another opportunity to fly. If SpaceX wants to get that chance, it would serve itself well by modeling practices that are already available. NASA's long and impressive track record of including environmental modeling and safeguards into all of its launch assessments. The groups, Center for Biological Diversity, American Bird Conservancy, Carrizo slash Comacruda Nation of Texas, Incorporated, Save Our GV, and Surfrider Foundation, first filed suit against the FAA in May, with SpaceX later joining as a co-defendant after the first Starship launch April 20. The environmental groups argue that the agency allowed Elon Musk's company to bypass important environmental reviews because of political and financial influence. SpaceX is owned by Elon Musk. Starship's first test ended with an explosion about four minutes after launch on April 20. The lawsuit comes as SpaceX officials launched Falcon 9 on Monday from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. The Falcon 9 will deploy a batch of Starlink Internet satellites into low Earth orbit. According to recent reporting by the Houston Chronicle, the second launch of SpaceX rocket on November 18 drew hundreds of spectators who damaged local habitats that are crucial to shorebirds in Boca Chica and took decades and decades to build. SpaceX's Boca Chica launch site is surrounded by state parks and national wildlife refuge lands and important habitat for imperiled wildlife, including piping plovers, northern Aplomato falcons, Gulf Coast jaguarundi, ocelots, and the critically endangered Kemp's Ridley sea turtle. A statement from the Center for Biological Diversity read. According to the Chronicle, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service said it was the public that caused the main environmental effects observed in tidal flats south of the launch pad and that it was working with SpaceX to educate the public on the importance of tidal flat habitat. Other emissions, like nitrogen oxides, alumina particles, and chlorine, deplete ozone, which protects us from the sun's ultraviolet radiation. Some rocket pollution, like water vapor, can act as a greenhouse gas when it's released here in the stratosphere. Depending on the type of model and fuel used, rockets can produce soot, black carbon, nitrogen oxides, alumina particles, chlorine, 
hydrochloric acid, and water vapor. But there's a lot more into rocket pollution than KO2. Jets, unlike rockets, add the climate change by releasing KO2 into this lower part of the atmosphere. There are millions more commercial flights than rocket launches. In just hours, the aviation industry burns enough fossil fuels to equal about a year's worth of rocket launches. Furthermore, the environmental groups and a Texas tribe are suing the Federal Aviation Administration over its handling of SpaceX plans for its April 20 rocket test launch at Boca Chica in Cameron County. The groups claim the FAA failed to conduct an environmental review of the launch, which ended with the rocket exploding after takeoff and debris raining onto sensitive habitat nearby. SpaceX's 400-foot-tall Starship spun in circles minutes into the flight and self-destructed over the Gulf of Mexico after reaching a height of 24 miles. The launch sent debris, including chunks of concrete, into sensitive animal habitats nearby. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service reported that a debris cloud containing pulverized concrete spread as far as 6.5 miles north of the launch pad. The groups argue that the FAA, which authorizes rocket launches, should have conducted an in-depth environmental impact assessment before allowing SpaceX to proceed with its plans and claim the agency delegated that task to SpaceX. They are asking the court to suspend SpaceX's five-year license, granted by the FAA. We want to see the FAA cancel the permits until they figured out how they can either minimize or at least mitigate the environmental damage the rockets are doing. The goal of the lawsuit is to protect wildlife and frontline communities, Pear said. Shorebirds such as piping plovers that live near the SpaceX facility are sensitive to the heat, noise and smoke from the rocket launches, he said. The Boca Chica area is biologically diverse. The group stayed in the lawsuit and an essential habitat to many species, including federally protected wildlife such as migratory birds. It's vital that we protect life on Earth even as we look to the stars in this modern era of spaceflight, Jared Margulis, a senior attorney at the Center for Biological Diversity, said in a written statement. Federal officials should defend vulnerable wildlife and frontline communities, not give a pass to corporate interests that want to use treasured coastal landscapes as a dumping ground for space waste. In the lawsuit, the groups call SpaceX's self-review a considerably less thorough analysis intended only to determine whether an environmental impact statement is required for the Starship launch. According to the lawsuit, SpaceX concluded that there were no potential environmental impacts and the FAA did no additional environmental review. FAA spokesperson Donald Evans said the agency does not comment on ongoing litigation. The agency has launched an investigation into April's launch and ordered SpaceX to halt launches until it's certain that public safety will not be at risk. There are millions more commercial flights than rocket launches. In just hours, the aviation industry burns enough fossil fuels to equal about a year's worth of rocket launches. Roche blames both SpaceX and its regulatory body, the Federal Aviation Administration FAA, for allowing the company to skirt environmental regulations and for not working hard enough to mitigate its impact on the delicate wilderness surrounding Boca Chica. He's not alone. Days after the launch, a consortium of environmental groups sued the FAA to prevent further launches of Starship. Conclusion As we conclude that SpaceX launches have undoubtedly revolutionized space exploration, but their impact on the environment warrants careful consideration. While the immediate effects of rocket launches are awe-inspiring spectacles, they also entail environmental consequences, predominantly in terms of atmospheric pollution, habitat disruption, and carbon emissions. One of the primary environmental concerns associated with SpaceX launches is atmospheric pollution. Rocket engines burn a combination of liquid oxygen and rocket-grade kerosene, releasing a myriad of pollutants into the atmosphere upon ignition. These emissions include carbon dioxide, soot, water vapor, and trace amounts of other chemicals. Although individual launches may not significantly contribute to global pollution levels, the cumulative effect of repeated launches can exacerbate atmospheric pollution over time. Furthermore, SpaceX launch facilities often encroach upon natural habitats, leading to habitat disruption and potential harm to local flora and fauna. The construction and operation of launch pads, support infrastructure, and transportation networks may result in habitat loss, fragmentation, and disturbance, particularly in ecologically sensitive areas. Such disruptions can alter ecosystems, diminish biodiversity, and threaten endangered species, highlighting the need for thorough environmental impact assessments and mitigation strategies. Moreover, the carbon footprint of SpaceX launches is a pertinent environmental consideration. The production, transportation, and utilization of rocket fuel entail significant energy consumption and greenhouse gas emissions, contributing to climate change. While SpaceX endeavors to develop reusable rocket technology to mitigate the environmental impact of space exploration, the transition to sustainable practices remains an ongoing challenge.
Nevertheless, it is essential to acknowledge the potential long-term benefits of SpaceX endeavors for the environment. The company's commitment to reusability and innovation has the potential to reduce the cost and environmental footprint of space exploration significantly. By enabling more frequent and cost-effective access to space, SpaceX aims to catalyze scientific research, technological innovation, and sustainable resource utilization beyond Earth, ultimately contributing to our understanding of the planet and the cosmos. In conclusion, while SpaceX launches offer unparalleled opportunities for scientific discovery and technological advancement, their environmental impact necessitates careful scrutiny and proactive measures to mitigate negative consequences. Balancing the imperatives of space exploration with environmental stewardship is imperative to ensure the sustainable and responsible advancement of humanity's presence in space.